Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and OpenCore Legacy Patcher 0.4.10 was just released, and it fixes the issue if you installed macOS Monterey 12.5 and had a Kepler-based graphics card on a MacBook Pro, iMac, or Mac Pro. McCola figured out what the issue was, and I'm going to go over a live demonstration on how to get your Mac fixed up if you already installed the 12.5 update, and we're also going to talk about best practices of what you should do before you install a macOS update. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started. Okay, let's first talk about best practices before installing a macOS update. When Apple does their updates, they change a lot of things and fix a lot of issues and sometimes come out with improvements to the operating system in their regular release schedules. But what happened here in 12.5 is one of the changes that they made broke one of the parts for the Kepler based GPU patches system. So what that did is if you had that GPU and you installed the update, it caused problems for you and you were unable to log in and it caused the Windows server to crash. Macola was able to fix this up and it was really great and came out with a update to fix these people. But it would be better off if you didn't install it and had those problems. And the entire release of macOS Monterey has actually been really good with not having very many problems at all. So that's why we've been pretty used to just, hey, installing the update and not having any problems. I think we need to change that a little bit. I think what we can do for now is before you install a macOS update in software update, go to the GitHub and look at the releases tab. So for example, if we look at the previous release for 4.9, you would have saw this warning right here. Now, keep in mind, when we look at all these, there's no big issues like that on, on all these previous updates. It's been really, really reliable, but this can happen. So the idea is, is that you can just come to the releases page in GitHub here and check the latest release. And if you see a warning like this and you see you're a part of that, you say, hey, wait a minute, I'm going to wait until there's more information. So if you would have saw this and waited a little bit, then you would have come back and say, oh, hey, 4.10 came out and it fixes that issue. We're A-OK -okay to be able to install 12.5. Now, keep in mind, macOS Monterey is near the end of its release cycle. Once macOS Ventura comes out, there's not going to be these interruptions or there shouldn't be these interruptions anymore. That's why macOS Big Sur right now is super reliable because they're just in kind of like a security update mode. And they're not changing the core operating system like drivers and stuff like that right now. So that's something to keep in mind. Once Ventura comes out, macOS Monitor should be pretty solid and reliable and not have these issues in the future. Some of the people that came out here when it first came out and the issues were starting to be reported, you might have got caught up. So that's another recommendation that I have is no matter what, just wait a few days because the reports, if there is an issue, will start to flow back in and it can be reported and the developers can let people know when there's an issue. So that's kind of a level set of what we can do maybe just to make sure we're safe before we perform an update. And keep in mind, there's also people reaching out saying, hey, I had automatic updates turned on. So let's take a quick look at that. What I would recommend is if you have a patch system, we should probably turn off automatic updates. So we'll go into software update and system preferences here. And then we have automatically keep my Mac up to date. If that's selected for you, you can click on advanced and you can see these. It's fine to check for updates, but download new updates when available is also fine. But install Mac updates is where people can get tripped up. So the idea is it'll download it, but it won't install it. If you have this selected here, then it'll say, hey, I'm going to install the next available time. So if you had this on, you would have already had 12.5 installed and you didn't even know maybe overnight it installed and you came back up and you're having those issues. So make sure that's unselected and then you should be set here for the future. And that's a little bit about software update and the automatic settings here. If you're totally worried about it, you can always even uncheck the download new updates here. You can enter in your administrator password and then it won't download or do anything. And always, you should always leave this on because that installs the XProtect updates in the background and you should be set after that. Now, real quick, before we get into the issue in a live demonstration, I wanted to give a big shout out to McCola here who figured out the issue. Actually, a sentient bot jumped in and was going to help out. He even got a Kepler GPU to be able to assist. But McCola figured out the issue before they even needed to dig into that even deeper. So great shout out. Thanks a lot, McCola, for getting this issue fixed. And that's all during the Ventura development that's going on right now. That's really heavy in development right now. So it was great that they were able to hold off on that for a little bit to get this issue fixed for anybody that has a Kepler GPU. So wonderful work, guys. Now let's get to our demonstration unit. Here is 11 comma 3. I updated 12.5 and I'm running with 
Open Core Legacy Patcher 0.4.5 here. So we'll fire that up and you can see the version here. And I had a lot of other versions that I was using to test before. As soon as you open it up, you know automatically that, hey, 0.4.10 is released. So that's really great. All we need to do is click on view on GitHub. And it'll bring us right to the page that we need here. So here's our 4.10 and we say we got this fixed and all we need to do is install the update and we should have no issues. So the way that this the system is set up right now is that it's in that situation, we're running 12.5 on 11.3 MacBook Pro, so it has the issue. Anytime the Kepler GPU kicks in, the system will pause for about 20 seconds, and then the Windows Server will crash and kick you back to the login window. Well, if you had that card installed, and that's the only card they're using, for example, Mac Pro or an iMac, you wouldn't be able to log in right now and just crash right back to the login window. The way you can get back in is holding down Shift, and then you can get to the desktop, but you would have a really slow system, but at least you would be able to get your data. Now, if your system's in that situation, in the previous video, I recommended two situations. You could basically back up your data and reinstall 12.4, or you could wait till a fix comes out. The fix is out, so if you waited, now we can get your system all fixed up. So now let's download the latest update here. So we'll scroll down. We will go to the asset information and download Open Core Patcher GUI Zip. Now, while we wait for that to download, let's close out our old version of Open Core Legacy Patcher because we don't want that open when we install here. And then we are going to open up applications and we're going to drag that over. The normal name for Open Core Legacy Patcher is always just Open Core Patcher. I always put the, the version number just because I do different testing, right? But you could just leave it because that's the normal name. When I drag this over here, it's going to ask us to replace that. And I'll open this up here. And we'll just drag this over here from our downloads. And it's going to say, hey, do you want to replace it? Yes, we do. So we'll replace. There we go. So let's open it up. Okay, we'll click on open. Open Core Legacy Patcher 4.10. To fix this system, it's pretty cut and dry. All we need to do is install the patches again and the new patch to fix the Kepler issue will be installed and the Mac will be running when it comes back up. So all we need to do is click on post install root patch here and we need to click on start root patching and we'll relaunch as root password. All right, here we go. All right, we're ready to reboot. All we need to do is click on reboot and then the restart button. Here we go. Okay, we're back out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a monitor here so we can try to reproduce the issue, but we're not going to be able to do that because we're fixed. So you'll see the screen. Oh, it's flashed there. Okay, it's readjusting. Now the monitor is plugged in. Now what that does for this 11 comma 3 is, is that it forces the DGPU or the Kepler card to activate instead of the Intel card. Anytime you plug in a monitor, the DGPU automatically kicks in. So that's, we're forcing the system that is, if it's it's going to have the issue it's going to happen right now so we're going to log in here and it should be able to log in right off the bat and not have any issues awesome the issue is repaired we're fully up to date and this system is now fixed now that that's done, I talked to Makola last night. He already had some ideas right off the bat to try to prevent something like this from happening again. One of the ideas was that Open Core Legacy Patcher is going to run in the background, and if it detects that you're trying to install a software update that's incompatible, it might pop up a pop-up message saying, hey, we've detected that you are trying to install an update and there's causing problems with your version of hardware. And maybe that'll help people in the future from causing problems. Again, this is really a rare event, but the more information Open Core Legacy can, Patcher can give the user, the better the user will be for the system and reliability in the future. That he and I were talking about, he already had the idea and I gave him a couple other ideas that we could possibly put together to make this work a little bit better for a warning system. And again, Monterey is probably going to start to be pretty reliable here, but once we get to Ventura, who knows what's going to happen. And that's why it'll be good to have this warning system. Basically, it'll read a file on the GitHub that can be edited by the developer saying, hey, there's a problem here. And they can communicate with the app and let the user know 
know there's an issue with the software update before installing. I think that could be a really great feature in the future and we'll have to see how that comes together. But for now, we've got Open Core Legacy Patcher 0.4.10 out and it's fixing the Kepler issues. And even if before you were a little worried, like I don't even know if I have a Kepler card, don't worry, install 0.4.10 and then update, and then you'll be A-OK -okay after. Now remember, if you have the 11 comma three, you're gonna have to hold down shift because it'll be stuck at the progress bar after the update because it can't switch over to the Intel card and it's stuck at the DGPU. So hold on shift, go in, install the post root patches, and then you'll be set. Thanks for watching. If you would like this video or it helped you out, give it a thumbs up or a share, I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, click on that Mr. Macintosh logo to subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Twitter for all the latest Mac news, classic under score Mr. Mac. And thank you to all my viewers and especially my Patreon members. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.